Okay, this is a little walk around to the underside of the Screaming Eagle Derby car here. <clears throat> Start with the front suspension, I guess. It's uh, got some articulation so it can follow the road. And it's uh, bracketed to a plate that's picking up a Lazy Susan bearing like the center of a caster with a safety bolt through the center just to keep it all together in case there's some horrible collision. And these are the steering stops right here. Obviously you can't steer it or fall off these sawhorses. Uh, wheelchair wheels roll just amazing. We got these 24 inch aluminum guys in the back. Look at that. They just roll like everything you've ever wanted. So 24 is in the back. 22 is in the front. Um, and it's uh, cable rigged uh, turnbuckles really just need one turnbuckle but two turnbuckles looks better uh, some little, little pulley plate sending it up to the uh, steering wheel and this is our brake back here and the brake is a uh, piece of car tire wrapped around a chunk of pipe welded to a, a bracket and a door hinge with a link to an axe handle and when you pull the axe handle the brake comes down and touches the ground and stops you it's got a spring return and yeah that's the underside straight axle in the back dropped axle in the front and this is just held on with a couple bolts one inch tube the fancy bits are the uh, little machined coupling nuts that uh, interface with the bearing so it doesn't drag. Same up front. Alright, see if I can get it flipped over. So here it is right side up. And the body is, uh, you know, obviously a homage to all those 1930s racers. And I used uh, just a constant radius to make the boat tail so that's a constant you know uh, circular section circular section circular section and what else yeah same up front I don't know if you can see that but that's just a circle so it makes it easy to bend it because you're only bending in one direction and uh, yeah quarter inch plywood sides three quarter inch plywood subfloor and seat back and all that and the steering's pretty groovy. Got a little steering wheel for McMaster car. This is an old um, air cylinder that I took the guts out of and used some little uh, bronze washers to adapt it down to the 5 8 shaft. And then in there is a uh, little wire rope drum I made on the lathe that uh, steers front wheels through these whoops through the these uh, magical cables coming down between your legs to those pulleys you saw and that pulley there just acts to keep the um, wire ropes from having a bad fare lead into those pulleys because it's a little close if I did it again I'd have to angle them a little but that was my instant solution and it's something very satisfying about being trapped in there the steering works great See the wheels up there moving just the right amount of resistance. And then the brake. And it hits the ground. And if you really reef on it, you can really, you can really lift the whole car. But that's with the weight of the person in there that'll help help that. Maximum stoppage. And it just rolls. Rolls like butter. I mean, that was just the gentlest push. And it's just ready to go. Alright, that's the car. Can't wait to see Enzo in it. And uh, Batdorf's going to paint it. I like it like this. <laughs> but it'll look good all shiny, I'm sure.
maybe some vinyl graphics. Anyway, pretty satisfying stuff.